I guess there are two key aims of the distillery. I mean, firstly, as a direct provider of employment. So, you know, we will create a number of jobs at the distillery, uh, but obviously in its own right, a distillery can only employ so many people. So perhaps uh, the bigger picture is to act as a catalyst. And this idea that we could send the spirit of Harris out into the world in our bottles and bring the island to the attention of a broader audience and therefore bring more tourism to the island and therefore indirectly create more jobs is perhaps uh, the biggest benefit over time. Life in Harris is different, <laughs> so um, you know it's a slower and quieter way of life. Um, it's it's kind of hard because obviously I've been born and brought up here. This is what I knew, um, and a lot of people, you know, when they come in, it, it can be a big, big change for them. But but this is what I've always known. It's um, not really summer where you'll get a lot of privacy. Um, people tend to know everything that's going on, which I actually think is quite a good thing. People care if anything terrible happens, they're going to be there for you and help out and that. But it's a safe place. Um, I mean, my childhood was pretty much idyllic. Running around in hills and beaches and machar and everything else. Coming home late at night and nobody ever bothered or batted an eyelid as to where we were or what we were doing. Um, I think the crofting way of life, um, while declining just now, is actually really important because in order to achieve an awful lot of what you needed to do within crofting, you had to work together. So it created that kind of communities. Um, even within large communities, you then had village communities, um, which is really important. It just gets people working together. And, you know, coming from here and having had family here, obviously going back generations, there's a sense of belonging, a sense of knowing who you come from and, and all that. Um, although it's still always interesting when I learn of more people I'm related to. <laughs> but it's good. I mean, you, you, you couldn't ask for any other, any better place to, to be. When I first heard the plans for the distillery, if I'm absolutely honest, I thought they were crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, although there's, you know, obviously been huge successes with distilleries in other islands, I did think, in Harris, really? And then when I heard where they were going to be putting it, I thought, wow, that that's really interesting. But um, it was different, and I think that's always a good thing. A lot of people turn out the same stuff, the same sort of businesses, and, you know, from the start, they were very, very keen to get local people employed there and to get them cleaned up and that, rather than bringing in a whole load of people from the outside, it was, you know, there to create kind of sustainable local employment, which it has done, which has been, I think, probably one of the biggest successes about the distillery is the amount of people that are employed, and all year round, not just seasonally, because obviously there's plenty of employment in the summer months, not so much in the winter months, with us that is now creating year round employment, which, yeah, it's just, you can't underestimate how important that is to the islands. I think people see the distillery now as their own. Um, it's obviously become this worldwide brand. Um, very quickly it's become very famous everywhere. There's not many people who haven't heard of Isle of Harris Gin. Um, obviously the whiskey not so much just because it's not there, but the gin certainly has, has put Harris on the map again for a different reason. Um, and I think that it, it has, it's kind of, a lot of people are very protective, you know, of the brand and the place. Um, and then because as well, you know, there's local people working there, you know people who are working there. So it creates that protectiveness again. Um, it's, it's ours. It's our distillery in our island. Living on the Isle of Harris is, um, I would say, it's, it's a different way of life to the mainland. Um, very much uh, you have to get involved in the communities. Um, life on the Isle of Harris is changing as regards it. We're becoming a much more a tourist destination. Um, crofting, historical crofting as we know it, uh, sheep and uh, keeping sheep and cattle is tends to be dying out a bit, uh, mainly due to an aged population and 
not a lot of young people coming into the uh, into the industry. However, having said that, uh, crofting you know can diversify. So crofting doesn't need uh, to be historical as regards keeping sheep and cattle. We people can diversify. Some people are diversifying into forestry, but I suppose the biggest diversification is again tourism. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a different way of life. When we heard that uh, the, there was a distillery going to be open in the island and certainly where it, the area where it was going to be opened in Tarbert on a, on a bit of ground that had been reclaimed and cost a lot of money for many years, um, we, we thought it was fantastic. Just the, 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 pu- the pure fact that uh, there, was, uh, there was going to be something built there that was, that was going to give employment. That was, that was our initial uh, uh, reaction, uh, g- g- employment and also a, 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 a tourism attraction uh, t- uh, um, uh, more, more more for the, uh, for the tourist industry but employment was I think is the initial reaction that everybody had great it's going to be a place for uh, uh, employment as we all know the distillery has uh, come on in leaps and bounds it's had huge success with its gin it, um, it hasn't even started selling its whiskey yet which is predominantly what it's there for um, therefore for the island it's been a huge success um, I think uh, I think we as islanders are very proud of it. Um, it's given a huge confidence to the island, and um, it's just uh, it's, it's now worldwide. And uh, it's, uh, it, along with Harris Tweed and the beauty of the island, uh, uh, um, with all the beaches and everything, um, it's just another another feather in our cap. And uh, I think it's given the island a, a, a huge a, a huge confidence, and it's it's going from strength uh, to strength as we know it. It's, it's, uh, we, can, we can only see it getting a, a, a bigger and better. People that visit Harris and the distillery leave with a great sense of, um, you know, that connection with our community. They meet lots of local people that work here and the feeling of island hospitality when they come in to our foyer and they stand in front of the warmth from our peat fire. Um, I think it leaves them with a sense of um, a feeling from their upbringing and something from their past and just a lovely feeling of comfort. It means everything to me to work for uh, the Isle of Harris Distillery. Um, we have a great sense of ownership of the building and the business here. Uh, we're all local to the island and uh, that makes all the difference to us. We've just celebrated our third birthday and um, looking back at what we set out in terms of aims, Uh, We have really uh, overachieved um, on every dimension, Um, partly thanks to the success of our gin, uh, partly thanks to the success of the guest experience that we offer at the distillery, Um, and we are now looking to expand, uh, grow much faster than we ever thought. And uh, if you look at the employment numbers as well at the distillery, We had hoped that within five years we might employ somewhere between 20 and 25 people. But as it happens, uh, this summer we actually had 36 people on our books. So uh, a fantastic result really compared to uh, what we expected at the outset. One of the things I'm most proud of is the work we're doing with the young people on the island. We've connected from the beginning with the local schools. And we are encouraging people to look at the distillery uh, as a future career opportunity. And in fact, there are a number of examples where we've taken young people out of school who might otherwise have had to leave the island to go and find work elsewhere, who didn't want to leave the island, and are now happily staying on the island, creating their lives there, working at the distillery. Uh, Most uh, symbolically, I guess, was the uh, recent appointment of our first apprentice distiller, a young Rebecca, who's just 16, who has shown extraordinary flair since she came and started working with us um, in our canteen and is now going to be the first, the island's first apprentice distiller. The future for the Isle of Harris distillery is all about sustainable growth. 
we are here for the long, long term. We're creating jobs, not just for this generation, but for future generations. So everything we do needs to be sympathetic to that. We are, first and foremost, a whiskey distillery, and our whiskey is lying in the warehouse, maturing. We don't know when it'll be ready, but it'll be a few years from now. So we are very excited about what our single malt, the Herach, is going to taste like. And in a few years from now, it will be ready for bottling and for sale. So in the interim, we continue to do what we're doing. We continue to grow our gin sales. We're expanding internationally. So we're in nine international markets today. I would hope to be in a number more uh, this time next year. Um, so it's about growing the gin sales. It's about making more whiskey than we ever thought we would make and preparing for the launch of that single malt in a few years' time. <laughs>